In this section, we are going to see how to create a corridor. We have already created an assembly. So using this assembly, we are going to create the corridor. So when creating the corridor, the interface for creating corridor is different if you are the with the version you are using to create the corridor. So if you are using a version like Civil 3D 2020, three or earlier the creation of corridor the window interface will be a little bit different from the version civil 3d 2024 so even if you use a, a updated or the a normal updated version of 2023 because civil 3d provides updates uh, at various intervals or various times of the year so if you have updated version of civil 3d 2023 so it will be similar to 2024 as well but if you have not updated civil 3d 2023 it will be similar to the uh, other versions uh, like civil 3d 2018 19 or up to 23 so i will be showing this in two various uh, software versions 2023 and 2024 because there are some modifications to the corridor creation interface so what basically happens in a corridor is we have this assembly here so we will be placing this assembly at certain intervals of this along this center line and create a 3d model of the road we will be applying assembly at certain intervals throughout this road and we will be creating a 3d model out of that to create our <coughs> corridor so that is what basically happens in a corridor so to create the corridor i'll go here home tab corridor click this drop down create corridor and my corridor name i'll use the corridor name as two lane road corridor so if you like you can set a description here then you have to use this alignment and profile option because we are creating the corridor based on our alignment and profile so our alignment is design center line make sure you have not selected any other offset assembly offset alignment li lines so you have to use select design center line and your profile would be the proposed one because we are creating the road based on our proposed profile so your assembly would be two lane two way road because we have only one assembly but in actual uh, roadway modeling you may have so many assemblies but at this stage as a beginner in at the beginner interval we will work with only one assembly and your target surface set it to e g then you will you should click ok and it will give you a window like this so this is how to create the corridor now see this is at the early stage so this is how to create the corridor uh, using civil 3d 2023 or earlier version so we will do one more modification here so that our corridor makes more accurate that is the frequency so i will make this frequency 10 meter all to get at everywhere and i will so 10 meter right so i am not going to change anything i will use the default version default items but this are so there are so many things related to these things but we are not going to i'm going to understand these things as a at as we are in the beginner level so i click ok so this is how to create the corridor uh using civil 3d 2023 or earlier versions so after that you can move on to create click ok and move on to the uh, corridor creation and create click rebuild corridor and i will remove this information notice so you will see something is created here so this is what we call corridor so we will see what is happening in a corridor in a later section so now i am moving on to civil 3d 2024 version and do the same thing but it is different 
than the Civil Treaty 2023 or earlier versions. So here now I am in Civil Treaty 2024. I'll go to here, create corridor, same as earlier. Now this is your interface. This is different from the earlier one. So here you have to set the name similarly and you can set a description here and here you have to select your alignment so you click here it will show you all the alignments so you have to select design center line so it will automatically pop up the surface but you can select the correct one if it is not selected with the correct surface and your assembly you have to select this one so once you select the assembly you will be asked to select the target surface and you will select this uh, eg surface as your target and click ok so you will be having you will be directed to this properties parameters window so here we updated the frequency earlier so this time also we will set it to 10 meter interval and click ok and click ok and rebuild the corridor so you will be uh, having a corridor like this here so this is how to create the corridor in civil 3d now again we have something called uh, target setting in corridor so that means uh, now your center line is here and your corridor is created but you can see we had a uh, bus bay here now your corridor does not follow that bus bay you can see this is your lane this is your shoulder this is your verge but inside the bus bay it should go like this your shoulder should go like this along this bus bay so it is not applied here so in the next section we will see how to set uh, target mapping so that we get a more accurate corridor with our layout of the road so 